hey yo so I'm going to show you how to change uh, facial expressions on images that you have created which is a very cool thing to do and can be quite difficult and it's really easy so we're gonna jump right into it uh, we're gonna be using focus that's three O's with CUS at the end and uh, which is a great software especially if you don't got a lot of VRAM going on it can work as low as four uh, four gigabyte VRAM which means that you don't have to have a great computer to use this application and it's still powerful yo so we're gonna do that it's gonna take us just a minute to show you how to do that but before we do that please like the channel shout it to the nations Understand an AI, go to his page because he's going to teach you good stuff. All right, and they'll hear you. They'll definitely hear you and they'll come running and then I'll shake your hand because I certainly appreciate it. All right, so let's get moving and getting back to. Okay, yo, so let's get going on here. If you don't have uh, Focus already installed, it's very simple install. You just can go to your uh, Google and you're going to type Focus. That's three O's. And we'll type GitHub. Okay, so it's going to bring us up by Elias Veal. He's the same guy that made SD Forge. Big brain guy. Okay. So uh, this is actually amazing software, honestly. So we're just going to go here to where it says click here to install Focus. And we're not really going to have to do uh, much. It's going to do it all for us. We're just going to click here to download. And what it will do is it's going to download. Um, you'll see here. You'll uh, a, a 7Z file. So a 7Z file basically is just a special zip file uh, you can use your winrar to open it up and all you're going to do is you're just going to go to your main folder okay uh, let's see if i can find find a folder here for you kind of show you what's going on here you're just going to go to your main folder do 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 oh that's not showing up there very good is it okay hold on just a second there we go and you're just going to you'll put your file there and you'll extract it it's going to put all these three out and all you got to do is click run.bat and it's actually going to do all the installations for you this is what really makes this software so good is how how uh, it's just all put together you just click it it's going to grab the models for you this is a really a get going fast kind of an app and uh, it's going to install do everything for you and then it's going to automatically pop you up into this which is actually your screen and from here you can do stuff so what we want to focus on is we're going to create a face and then we want to change the expression so that we can keep using the same person but with different expressions so let's go ahead and we'll put um, a cowboy looks cowboy standing in the field or how about in the cow pen <laughs> and uh, looking at the camera okay so now we're going to click advanced okay and what i'm going to do is it's just going to give us a couple different images it'll uh it starts you out with doing two images at a time let's just see if we can start with one and let's see if we get a good one so we're just going to click generate and even though i'm running my ai software uh, it should still come about pretty good so you can see that's actually coming out really quick really fast we'll click on this okay it looks like Chuck Norris doesn't it all right so what we want to do is let's make him smile now it can be very difficult if we just wrote in here a cowboy standing the cowpin smiling it's going to create a completely different photo so what we do is we click this advanced button down here at the bottom under settings you're going to see it says random uncheck that and this is going to give us what's called a seed number so that means this number right here if ran will always generate the same image so watch unchecking random putting the exact seed in there it's going to create the exact same image okay now watch we'll go ahead we'll copy this and then let's put a random number in there blah 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 Ah, oh, shit what do i do hold on a second <laughs> I got too excited pressing buttons there. Okay, so uh, hold on just one sec. 
Okay, and we're back. I kind of messed it up there. And so now we've got a little bit of a different cowboy, and that's because I can't remember the exact words that we use, but that's fine. His seed is this. So now let's go ahead and copy this, and let's put a random seed in here. Okay, now watch what happens. If we click generate, we're going to get a completely different cowboy. Oops, it's going to give us two of them. So it's going to give us something totally new. Okay. But now, if we go back here and we put the seed back in, I'm going to take this back down to one and we hit generate. We're going to get back to where we were at. Okay. So, first thing we do is we unrandomize the thing and we get the seed. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to click down here where it says input image. Okay. Then we're going to go over here to image prompt. Okay, image prompt means that we want to create a picture from a picture. So essentially the AI takes the picture, breaks it down into uh, its uh, numbers, sends them in there and says create something like this. But we're going to, since we're going to uh, take it off a of random, we're going to get it to give us the exact same thing back. So we're going to click this advanced button. It's going to give us some extra stuff under here. All we're going to do is we're going to take this photo and we're going to drag it down to here. Then we're going to make that our image prompt. We're saying this is the image prompt we want. Okay. Then we're going to drag it down here. And then we're going to click this thing that says Pyra Canny. Okay. So now we're going to go. He is looking at the camera. We're going to say cowboy standing in the cow pen. Um, and he is smiling. Okay. So we're going to change it. Notice he ain't smiling there. But we've got this set to image prompt. We pulled it down to the second one, which is Pyro Canny. We got this by clicking on uh, input image and clicking advanced. Okay. We've got this the unrandom, the seed unrandomized. Now we're going to click generate. We're going to wait for just a minute. It's going to bring it back. And there we go. We have our cowboy now, and he's smiling. Okay, that's not bad. So now let's go cowboy sin, and he is frowning. Okay, let's see what that does. Of course, you probably can't tell between the normal look and the frown. Cowboys kind of have this thing. It's a rest and trucker face, is what I call it, but. So there you go, he's changed his face. All right, that's not bad, is it? Okay, so now we're gonna try it with an uploaded photo. So let's say we got a picture of, so let's take this picture of this gal, okay? We're gonna do the same thing, let's put her over here under image prompt, and let's put her under here under Pyra Canny. Make sure it's unrandomized. And now let's give it a, uh, a basic prompt. Now this is where you could use something like Joy Portrait to actually get it to describe the image to try to get the exact thing, but we'll get close enough. We're going to say a beautiful red-headed gal girl standing in a field of lilacs. Now notice what we're going to find here. We're going to hit this. It's going to get very close. It's not going to be the exact same image. Again, if we use something like Joy Portrait, we would uh, probably be able to get the exact same thing. But that's still pretty close, okay? I'm just doing two of them. I think this one's the closest. Yeah, her eyes are better. <laughs> the eyes on this one weren't so good. So now we could do the same thing. Let's go ahead and we'll hit this X. We'll hit that X. Let's pull it back down to here. And then we'll say, uh, let's see if we can get her standing elsewhere. In a let's see what's happening. If we can get her standing in a field of roses. Okay, so it doesn't want, oh, well, there it did. It actually changed it up. So, same thing now. We, oh, I keep doing two, two of them instead of just the one. So, there you have it. So, that's pretty close. And uh, you keep playing around with this. Change, we could make, let's make her smile. Beautiful girl standing in the field of roses and she is laughing. 
Let's go ahead and give it one last try here. There we go. There comes our beautiful redhead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look at her change, how fast she changed. That's kind of funny, actually. So there you go. That's, uh, that's not that difficult, right? So we were able to uh, uh, easily put in an image, get it to change the face, and keep the picture that we want. So then, of course, you could... Uh, this is a way that if you had uh, want to use a certain model and you want to put them in different places, this is how you could do it. Okay, so again, all we really did, uh, we clicked on input image, advanced, and then we went down and clicked advanced again. Drug the one down to here, to the other, and we made sure it wasn't random. Now, if you wanted to make sure, I noticed her dress changed here. Okay, so if you really wanted her to... Um, to uh, every element to stay except for the face, you'd probably be better off just straight generating, okay? Because remember, this last one, we uploaded a photo, and so we didn't actually get a, uh, a direct seed number. So then what we could do here, if we have a direct seed number, we'd probably drag that down, and then we'd be able to change things up a bit more and keep her dress and all of that the same so at any rate there you have it that was real easy and uh, and that's very helpful isn't it I think it's kind of helpful my video is at an angle I feel like I'm floating across the screen like in space yo focus face altering easy peasy stuff here I go whoa I'm floating away all right, you guys stay good. We will catch you later. If you have any questions, you know, hit me up on the Discord. Let me see the stuff you're making. I'd love to see it, all right? So, uh, as usual, you stay good. We will catch up later, and yo.